Hello everyone, Ronnie J here from InternetRadioStation.com and in this video I'm going to talk about something called clock wheels. Now what is a clock wheel? A clock wheel is a scripting scheme that radio stations use to determine what plays, say at the beginning of the hour, the bottom of the hour, and everything else in between such as station IDs, commercials, and jingles. As the name implies, a clock wheel defines what happens within the 60 minutes of the clock. Now, if you're going to be running a radio station with one genre, you only need one clock wheel. There are several ways to create a clock wheel, and I am going to show you two ways. I'm going to show you first the simple way to create a clock wheel, and then I'm going to show you how I create a clock wheel. Now I am going to be using something called the categories and I'll discuss categories in the next video but I'll be creating a category or rather several categories in this video to demonstrate how clock wheels work. So if you're not quite grasping what a category is you will in the next video. So let's begin. So your first step in creating a clock wheel is that you're going to have to load up some music into your SAM broadcaster. And so to do that, you'll have to create what are called categories. What is a category? Well, a category is a folder or a container in which you place your music. You can have many categories. So this is how you do it. You go to the categories window, and right now I'm on my desktop A, so if you set yours up like I have mine set up from the previous videos, you should have on your desktop A a playlist window. Within that, you have a categories area here. There's a music folder. If you expand that out, right click and select new and type in your new category. And I'll call this smooth jazz. Since it's going to be within this category that I'm going to be loading up my music. All right, I have that set. And now my next step is to load music into it. So to do that, you would highlight that, click on this plus symbol here. And you have several options on how you can add your music to your category. I have all my music organized in folders or directories. So I'm going to select Add Directory. Navigate to the location where I know I have music. Here I have some sample smooth jazz. I'll select that and then click OK. And down here, all that music within that folder has been imported. All right, the music is there. Now I want to create a clock wheel that will play this music. So to do that, you go to Config. On the left-hand side on the list here, come down to Playlist Rotation Rules. Make sure that you have three songs in the queue if you want to mimic what I'm doing. Under Playlist Logic Modules, make sure that this is selected, where it says Clock Wheel Category Rotation Logic Module Version 2.0.0, and then click Config. Now here we have something called the Just Wait on Events, and what this basically is, this lets you set the weight for the songs that you're playing. And basically, the higher this number, the more weight a song has, or in other words, the more a song is played. The lower this number, the less that song is played. So I find that uh, for what I'm doing, I find setting this to 0 0.5, and on this one here where it says on request, increase weight by 5 works very well for me. Now let's create a rotation clock wheel format. To do that, we want to go to Categories. We'll click on the Category button here. And over to the left-hand side, you'll see a Content icon. It's a star. Double-click on that and expand Music. And you'll see that category that you created earlier. You want to click on that. And then over here to the right-hand side, make sure that the Enforce Playlist Rotation Rules radio button is checked. Make sure that the Weighted button is checked, and then click OK. And that places your first clock wheel format in here. We're going to create three more. So place your cursor at the end there and hit the Enter key. Click Category, double click on Content, expand the Music folder, select your Smooth Jazz category or your category. And the next one we're going to pick is going to be the one that says Most Recently Played Song. So we'll tick that, then click OK. That places a second one here. Put your cursor at the end of that line, hit the Enter key, click the Category button once more, double click on the Content icon, Expand Music, select your category, and the next one that we're going to pick will be Random, then click OK. 
put your cursor at the end and we'll do one more and click category and the last one we'll pick will be least recently played artist we'll tick on that and then click OK remove this line at the very top here you don't have to but I'm just like that okay this is what we have what happens is remember when I said I keep three songs in the queue well this is what happens Sam's gonna see the first line here and it's gonna look for a song based on weight it's gonna look at the rules and it's gonna place that song in the queue then the next song that it puts in the queue will be the most recently played song and it's gonna look at the rules then the third song that it will place in the queue will be a random song and then it's gonna stop right here because remember I said I got three songs in the queue and so when that queue empties it's gonna have two songs in it well it's gonna to have to put a third song into the queue so that third song is going to be a song from the least recently played artist. And by setting up your clock wheel this way, it ensures that you will not have two songs being played back to back or the same songs being played within the hour or within two hours. You have a nice rotation where your listeners will hear different songs. Once you've done that, your next step is to click the save button here. And then you want to save this clock wheel to the clock wheels directory. If you navigate to the location where you install SAM, it's going to be under program files, spatial audio, SAM BC, and within here you want to create a clock wheels folder because by default SAM will not create that for you. So what I did was I created a clock wheels folder. I like to be organized. So I place all my clock wheels within that folder. So what I'll do is I'll give this a name. I'll call this smooth jazz and click save and click OK and then click OK again. Now to verify that my queue is working, I'm going to go ahead and delete these songs out of here and Sam should automatically load three more in here. One, two, three. So three songs will always be in the queue based on how I configured my Sam Broadcaster. So now that you have your clock will set, what's going to happen now is that Sam Broadcaster will only pull songs from the smooth jazz directory or the smooth jazz category and these are the songs right here and it will place them into a rotation based on your clock wheel settings for example the way I have it set up no two songs will play back to back in other words this song won't play twice this song won't play twice you have a nice rotation and if you have a lot of songs in your music library I have over 10,000 songs uh, my listeners can listen to my radio station for days and not hear the same song. So this is all you have to do if you are going to be creating a internet radio station if you're going to have only one genre of music and in this example that one genre is smooth jazz. Now what do you do if you want to insert into your music play station IDs? Let's say for example if you wanted to play a station ID at the top of the hour. Well, there's several ways to do that as well. You can schedule an event, and I'll discuss that in the next video, or you can do it the easy way, or what I think is the easy way, is by using a PAL script. Let me show you. Now, if you're not grasping what a PAL script is right now, don't worry. I have devoted an entire video to PAL scripts. So this is just a general overview, just showing you how I do it. Now that I have songs within my rotation and they're running, I can go ahead now and create a category for my station IDs. So it's the same thing when I create the category for smooth jazz. So I'll scroll down here and I have a folder created called station IDs right here. So I'm going to click on that and click new and I'll call this top of the hour. Because that tells me that I want my station IDs to play at the top of the hour. So I have that created. My next step is to go to where my PAL script window is and I believe I placed that in desktop C. So I'll click on the plus symbol here and I'm going to load up a PAL script. Now the PAL script that you want is one called Top of the Hour and you'll be able to download it on the website so don't worry. And I'm going to click on this button that says automatically start the script. I'm going to click on the folder here and browse to my PAL script directory which is also within the SAM Broadcaster directory. Now SAM Broadcaster will create for you a PAL script folder and it gives you lots of PAL scripts but it does not give you this top of the hour PAL script. I'll give you that. So I'm going to scroll down and there it is. It's called top of the hour station ID PAL. I'll select that and click open and click OK. And here it is. 
So I'm going to double click on this and I can see this script inside. And the only thing that you have to change or verify is what you see in the green right here. This is your category and this must match the name that you created for the category earlier. And the category that we have created, we called it top of the hour. So going back to my desktop C and double clicking on my PAL script here, I just want to verify that the name is the same. That's all you have to do. If it isn't, change it, then do file and save and close this out. And then up here, click this button here and that starts your PAL script. And see here, it says waiting for 7 p.m. Right now, the time of this video is 1811, that's 6, 12 p.m. And so what this is telling me here is that at 7 p.m., that's about an hour from now, it's gonna run the station ID. What I didn't do is load in my station IDs, like loaded in my music, so let's do that. So I'm gonna go back to my desktop A, come down to where it says top of the hour. I'm going to highlight that, click on the plus symbol, click add directory because all my station IDs are in a directory. Navigate to where I have my station IDs, and here they are right here, and click OK. And all my station IDs are loaded in. So now, going back to desktop C, what Sam Broadcast is going to do is at 7 p.m. is going to pull from this station ID directory right here, top of the hour, and it's going to run that station ID. Once it does that, this will toggle to the next hour, 8 p.m. Then it's going to go to this directory or category and then run the next station ID. So each and every hour, a station ID is ran. So there's nothing you have to do. It's all automated for you. So your songs are going to play within that smooth jazz directory in my example here. They're just going to run one after another. And then at the top of the hour, that PAL script is going to run whatever it sees inside this top of the hour directory. So that's how I do it. Now, in the next video, I'm going to get more in depth into how you do this and how to set up a multi-formatted radio station where you have more than one genre. So you're going to be seeing some of the same stuff you saw here, except I'll be creating more category. Why? Because I have a multi-formatted radio station. So again, the way I'm approaching this is that I may repeat some things so we can build upon what you learned previously. And it's also a good review for you. So this is how you would create and use Clockwheels. This is Ronnie J from InternetRadioStation.com. Thank you for listening.